Okay, in part one, I spoke about a woman who'd been healed of a flow of blood she'd had for 12 years. Jesus healed her because she reached out to him in faith. And you can read about that in Matthew 9, 20 to 22. Now, 12 years is a long time, and in that time, she must have gone through depression, hopelessness, and so on over those 12 years. Yet when Jesus came, she had the faith to reach out to him, believing he could heal her. If she'd been sitting at home wallowing in misery, or telling everyone about her ailments and how bad it all was, she would have missed out on that miracle healing. Now, if you recognize yourself a little bit in what I've been talking about, but you do want healing from Jesus, you can start afresh today. If you don't know him as your personal saviour, then you first need to repent of your sin and reach out to him for salvation. But then don't stop there. Ask him to heal you too and reach out to him in faith like the woman in Matthew 9 did. God cannot ignore faith like that. And if you're a Christian, change the way you talk. It doesn't glorify God to keep confessing sicknesses with a kind of woe is me attitude. Instead, start to confess your faith for healing. Even if you are feeling bad, if you lift your eyes to heaven and you look to Jesus and you believe, you'll be amazed because you're opening the door for his healing to come in. Look to him, reach out and touch him like that woman did. And if you haven't got the faith, read the word because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if you don't have the faith to believe Jesus for healing, read the Bible and get some. And ask him to really fill you with that faith. And then reach out to him and believe him for everything that the Bible promises because he's true to his word.